Yeah. It's the number one show in the streets. streets. Hood Rich Radio. Radio with DJ Screen. Green. 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 Represent for the streets today, man. None other than Decatur Red, don't pull it up on me. How you feeling Chill. today, brother? Welcome to Hood Rich Radio. I feel like a motherfucking star fucker with you, pimp. <laughs> <laughs> you dig? Welcome, my brother. Yeah. Welcome, my brother. For anybody that might not be familiar with Decatur Red, just... Tell them, tell them who you are. Tell them a little bit. Of man, your it's, a, it's your boy. You know, niggas. If you if, if you're in the A, man, you know about me. You know right. what I'm saying? Cause I've been working for over seven years. Right. You know what I'm saying? Glenwood Road represent them. You know what I'm saying? With the squad, KDFLG in the building. That my whole squad, mm-hmm. RMR. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But right now we pushing that yayo. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We've been pushing on it since December, man. Yeah. Nice pickup. Just got some information at the top of the week screen. We got like. 20 radio stations right now that's dope. running in rotation, dope, so I feel dope, good, man. Dope, that's dope. Yeah. Um, let everybody know, you know, there's a million rappers, man, a million different stories, man. What makes Decatur Red unique? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what's going to make everybody? I don't know, man. I think it's really more about my stay down power. Okay. Which is different than a lot of niggas I know, especially the amount of years I've been consistent with what I've been doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's like, that's the difference. Mm-hmm. I think... um. That's what make me more relevant. I never left the scene and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of a nigga bubbling, popping off and shit like that, I stay working. Right. You know what I'm saying? That, I think my patience, my will, my belief, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? And, and, and for my hood, Glenwood Road, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm one of the main niggas on Glenwood Road that repping Glenwood Road the mm-hmm. way I'm repping that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let, so, let, let me be clear. So yeah. on a national, big national scale, we've never right. had anyone come from Glenwood Road no, Capone? Young, except Capone. Young Capone. Yeah. Definitely shouts to now yeah. on his rah rah. Shouts to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think he over there with Tilt now, if I ain't yeah, mistaken. Absolutely. So big yeah, salute yeah. to Capone. Yeah, rah rah. You know so you know but I mean, on, on some real shit, man, we got some cats that bubbling, man, if right. I must say so. We got like Crime, we got Spotlight, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then right out the way, we got One Five. Like, we got a lot of niggas that coming from like that side, man, that's starting to bubble. Yeah. So don't be surprised. What, 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 you, what you think it is, though? Like, me, me being from out that way, too, Cedar Grove High School graduate and everything, like, why is it that more of the Decatur talent? Decatur man, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. To, to be honest, Green, on some G shit, man, I think, and big salute to Big, big, big Gucci. Yeah. I think Gucci did a good, good. Servicing or or that or the East Side, mm-hmm. Gucci did, Future did, mm-hmm. Rich Homie did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of lot of them cats, man. So mm-hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving credit to them. They mm-hmm. put light on it, and it just took some time. But it's still some hoods, like you said, Glenwood, Candler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, shout out to OJ. You know he rep. He rep. Yeah, man. Press, you know what I'm saying? But it's still some hoods that. Yeah. There's a lot of talent out there. Yeah, man. OJ supposed to get in the studio at the top of the week too, man. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I, I hope that be a banger. You know, I'm gonna get it to you too. Yeah. What producers with, you been working with? Really, man, to be honest with you, man, I'm such a great motherfucker producer. Okay. <laughs> Let me start too hard, get man. But on some yourself. real shit. Yeah, and I mean, that's what yourself. I've been doing. I, you know, don't get it twisted, man. I'm kind of, um, right now, I'm in admiration, man, of niggas like, like uh, Metro, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like what he doing. I like what Southside doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I would love to get some beats from them niggas, but I mean, I ain't well, you, been shooting at them. I like tell that. people, that, like, like our situation, you let it happen when it's supposed to happen. Yeah, man, you know it's, it's always timing. Then it's too, it's like, like how me and the homie look at shit, like we gonna work hard, man. So at some point, niggas gonna come for us. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Instead yeah. of we going at niggas and you been on spending a lot of money trying to do that shit and ain't that happening. So I yeah. rather for niggas come for me because they know I'm hot and we made I made myself hot. You right. know what I'm saying? So, right. yeah, man. But production-wise, man, I think, she, really, man, I just ain't hit that scale yet, but I don't think too many niggas fucking with me. Word. You know what I'm saying? Like, Word. on some real shit, you know what I'm saying? You but got some solid shit, bro. Appreciate that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate now, that, bro, now, now talk real. to me about um, what do you what do you think the the best thing? Well, we'll use Atlanta. What's the best thing about the Atlanta music scene right now? You feeling? What's the worst thing? I mean, the best thing is the unity, man. I, I like that shit because when I first started, niggas weren't doing that. Mm-hmm. Niggas getting together. Now they, they you know they be shining each other out on on, on the internet on social media and shit like that and mm-hmm. niggas collabing more you know what I'm saying they mean like niggas ain't really jealous ain't no envy and shit going on I like that shit I really mm-hmm. do mm-hmm. I think um I said the shit one for four fucking with DJ Small on or did the interview with him mm-hmm. and shit and I was like I think the only thing that I don't like mm-hmm. is that you can't really separate what's real and what's not because. Mm-hmm. Niggas using the gimmicks and shit to try to get off. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't really slick like that. And, mm-hmm. and for a nigga like myself, I'm coming with just me, mm-hmm. my whole history of shit and, and all of that. And mm-hmm. sometimes it be like, especially when I screen the street shit and all, because I'm still in the street, man. Like, I don't, I, really, I'm still there. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? 
I don't like to talk about it, and then niggas have to kind of cipher if it's real. Mm. And niggas like myself, I'm too smart to incriminate myself, but mm. it's like, this is what you're dealing with. I mm. think that's the, the worst part of what's going on in Atlanta, but mm. fuck all that, man. It's the unity shit that I'm loving, though. That's, and you know what I'm saying? We're always, on, we're always on all types of charts. We're always on the tours. We're always like, with, we're here like year after year. Certain people said, oh, it's just not going to last or this is going to fade out. But we here. But we showed them though. You know what I'm saying? But it took a, it took a minute too, cause I remember when I was when I was a real young nigga falling yeah. on this shit. We was trying to be like them New York niggas and, mm-hmm. and the West Coast niggas. Well, we ain't no 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 different. Yeah, but see now <laughs> now we got our own. Hey man, salute the A town man. Shouts hey tripping man. What they talking Shouts about? Shouts to man. Georgia period. And, and, and everybody that doing it right though. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody that doing that shit right. Like Future doing that shit right to me yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lucci doing that shit right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Thugger doing that shit right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Twenty one. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So salute them boy that repping this shit the right way and holding it down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Keep that trophy going on, bro. Yeah. Now for real, for 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 the real Atlanta, for people who know the history, man, I just have to take a brief moment to thank you for allowing me to meet Mr. Cool. Cause I didn't think he was a I real know. person. <laughs> I used to play Born Threat, top to bottom, back to forth, and back to forth. I'm like, man, I ain't never he can't be a real person, man. This must just be somebody who just made a song and then you like, yo, no, this is Mr. Cool. He's my engineer. I'm like, You know what I want to do, cool Scream? Born Threat? And that's and by that being my 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 brother and see when he had his moment I was I was doing time shit yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying so I wasn't able to experience the right. moment but right. I heard it was just huge mm-hmm. this that and all that but what I what I want to do at some point that's why I'm hoping that this shit at some point this shit break you know what I'm saying I hope right. God find time for it right. that it do really break because I want to also take his moment and his legacy and see how I can you know help it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where people can remember who who cool was. Be honest with you. He was one of the first independent artists that was out here banging. Y'all can drop Born Thread again next week and it'll still go. I'm gonna tell you How one of the that? reasons why he ain't did this shit though. You shouldn't do that. Right. He should. You want to keep the legacy. Right. I don't think you should, but I think it'll still go. He I think he more he's so afraid of niggas taking the record mm-hmm. and and it tarnishing. Mm. You know, cause it, he had such a great moment mm-hmm. you, th- for that situation mm-hmm. that he want to leave it right there. Right, he should. I agree with that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I but I still want to see how I can document it, man. I want to yeah. figure out how the fuck I can document it. Cause I seen. I'm tell you what really got me thinking on the shit. To be mm-hmm. honest with you, long story mm-hmm. short, I was watching the um BT mm-hmm. when they did a little. I, I think you seen it too. The little A town, a yeah. uh, little shit, they a little a story. Lot. That, they yeah, a lot. bro. You know, they missed, they missed a, lot. a lot. And, and I felt yeah. like he should have been in there, too, because he was one of the, the pioneers. You know? Now, shouts to the people that were in there, but they, right. it was very not detailed. Yeah, bro. I felt that. Yeah, when I, I didn't finish watching it myself, because it's just like, for me, it's like, yo, y'all skipping over. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, we east side niggas, man. Yeah. And I feel like... But I, I mean, they miss west side niggas, south side niggas. Yeah, like, they, they missed a few niggas, they yeah. a lot of people that, was, that inspired some of the people that you saw in that documentary. Yeah. You and I, I think he was one of them, especially showing them how to do it the independent mm-hmm. way. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And he would rock it, man, independently. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, showing them, him and KV, them, that whole account they had going on mm-hmm. at the time. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. It was dope, bro. Talk to the young niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? In, in Atlanta and worldwide in the hoods, you know, it's craziness amongst the age of 14 to 19 right now. Uh, what would you say to the young niggas in the streets that might be trying to do music, whatever, whatever the case may be? Like, what would your message be? To the young ones, out I there. mean, first and foremost, man, it's like the guns, man. They gotta put them gun down. Mm. Like ain't shit, ain't shit. I, it's hard to say when they growing up in the area where niggas gotta watch their back and shit and all that. Cause like I'm, I'm out there in the street with you, like you know you what I'm saying? But it, right. that's number one. Because if you locked up or some shit, or you don't kill the nigga, whatever the case may be with that shit, bro, ain't nothing happening with no music, bro. You can count right. that. Right. More so than anything, get you some money, get you some paper. Cause I feel like if you busy enough getting some paper. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You Some of the dumb shit you ain't. Yeah, you ain't even. Yeah. How the fuck you think about right. that shit? Like right. I, even, even my niggas I run with, bro, they active. They out here in the mm-hmm. streets too. Mm-hmm. But now they starting to see some money. Mm-hmm. Them niggas ain't nowhere where the dumb shit at mm-hmm. because they concentrating on the right. paper now. Right. True. Yeah, you did. Right. So that's number one, man. I tell a nigga, put them gun down. Get you some fucking paper. Mm-hmm. Worst case scenario. Get on some player shit or something. Mm, Fuck with right, some hoes right, or something right, like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't cool no more though. Yeah. I, I learned from the young niggas like that. That ain't. Yeah, like, they. they I mean, niggas used to go to South Dakota Mall and holler. Yes, and girls. That's yes, not cool bro. No more. Like these niggas, they had 24 <laughs> sell every day of the week. They 10 deep. Nigga, you think I want a sausage party every day of the week? Man, nigga, get crazy. you some hoes, 10 hoes, something. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because if you got a lot of women, bro, two things that keep you out of trouble: females and money. Right. If you concentrating the, on those two right there, bro, you ain't worrying about shooting on them. For the people that have progressed though and are in the financial situation, do you think that um 
maybe they should put stuff in the community like a run and shoot a golden glass. Of course, man. That of course, man. Allows an option. Of course, I or think that's one of the problems. Even a big ass studio where. Yes, Everybody man. Everybody can just go. Yeah, you know, we, can, we can get the click up and kicking and smoking. And, right. and the unity thing is like, all right, there too, because niggas expecting to do that. Right. But see, I'm going to tell you what's the problem. One of the problems, I think, man, niggas get the little paper. Mm. They get the hell on. Mm. And they ain't trying to put them back. They get caught up in that shit. And that fame monster is motherfucker. So they're mm. chasing that shit instead mm. of realizing, like, bro, God put you in a position, True. a blessed position. Mm -hmm. Take some of that and distribute it right back. To the community, you come from that. Yes. If you tell the truth, nigga, mm -hmm. you came from the mud, you came from not having shit, mm -hmm. you came from eating noodles and shit, roaches and shit, trapping. Mm -hmm. Go right back to that same neighborhood, bro. It helps clean it up a little bit, but niggas ain't doing that shit, bro. Nah. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's kind of like niggas become selfish. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, even to your way to the top, nigga, you had a team taking you to the top. Mm -hmm. They went selfish. You became selfish after you got the blessings. Man, mm -hmm. take some of them blessings back to the hood, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Shit, me, I already know, like, to me, I'm, I guess the difference with me, I always make shit bigger than me anyway. Mm -hmm. Just like right now, I came to see you. I had to bring the team with me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't, I don't want to move by myself because right, right, I feel right. like my experiences, bro, what the, what the use is just, it's just me it's and you. you they, right, these right. niggas want to see this shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they believe in you too, Screen. They mm -hmm. fuck with you, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, they see you like Screen, nigga. Mm -hmm. So they want to come out here and fuck with Screen too. Mm -hmm. So the, the purpose is bigger than me. Mm -hmm. See, that's the problem. These niggas suffer, bro. You know what I mean? And they don't last long. All them stuff and they don't last long anyway. Mm -hmm. All you right, did? so finally, bro, we got a project coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, sir, man. Tell everybody about it. It's coming soon. It's going to be spring. It's going to be very soon. I'm part of the hold up. I'll let y'all no, know. No, it's all good. <laughs> really, <laughs> really, I like the pace. I, I never told you. I never called you and told you. Right. Because it's so much other shit we've been doing and right. shit. And, and, and all the world starts shit and all. Yeah. I'm like, hold up, man. I'm glad I got it. Well, I'm a ask. perfectionist, man. So I want it to be perfect. Hey, man. Listen, it's man. Perfect. More so than anything, you know Scream. I appreciate the opportunity, my nigga. Like I had told you at the first meeting when we sat down, mm. we already were trying to fuck with you. It's just, mm. you know, you got too many people. That Middle men and Yeah, they was in the right. way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate the opportunity. Mm -hmm. To me, it's historical. Mm. I don't give a fuck with the shit pop or not, my nigga, doing, doing a, you know, having the opportunity to do this with you. Like, you gotta understand what it mean to my people. Mm. When I take shit back to the hood and shit red on fuck screen, nigga, mm. it, it's for pride thing right. too, my nigga. You right. understand what I'm saying? Cause we ain't, we ain't kicking it with, Future them and all that. I'm, nigga, I'm, I'm the next thing to these niggas to my niggas in my niggas' eyes. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It, 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 so, you know, like I said, I appreciate the opportunity, man, to be able to rock out with you. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait till it drop. I want to see how the world going to take it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all fucking with me, man. I don't put my all in it. You know what I'm saying? I don't gave y'all everything I got, man. Just you know let them know saying? two or three things real quick that they can expect from this project. Number one, production is great. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I sit I said down on these records. Um, production is great. Content is, of course, great. Mm -hmm. I, I think I did a lot of, um, I mean, for features, like, you ain't gonna hear no real features except from my, my niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, which you cut the venture, he on that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Don Yell and Malik, they ain't, they ain't, you know them already. Mm -hmm. And Young Champ, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't know if me and Rob did, man, yet, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, um, if that, they, 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 they gave it all, they gave it they all, the verses are dope. Mm -hmm. I think everything about it is just dope from top to bottom. It's a full project. Mm -hmm. Only thing I think that I missed though, screen on some G shit. Mm -hmm. I already told the homie that he like, bro, we can't wait. We can't wait on it. We gotta go. Mm -hmm. I ain't do no female shit. Hey man, well, like with straight hood. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I kind of like listened over the other day. I'm like, yeah. God, I ain't do nothing for the women. Yeah. So ladies, Chronic, excuse it is what me. It is, man. It's but but ladies, listen to the gangster shit yeah, too. Yeah, exactly. You know More what than we do. So, and they yeah. know the words. More than we do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro. Yeah. You did. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But I mean, it's an all around project to me. I mean, I'm more confident because, of course, if I already dropped four mixtapes, mm -hmm. and to listen back to those mixtapes and, mm -hmm. and listen to the progress from them, you know that's, what I'm saying? That's, that's like, the motivation. Yeah, because yeah, we don't progress the music, we don't progress videos, mm -hmm. everything niggas see now is like shit, ready? Oh, shit, the nigga one step away, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm proud, man. And then you got to think, we came, even even the mixtape game, we came from starting off with uh, your boy. Uh, uh, Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. We started with Bill Gates mm -hmm. and we ended with Scream. Mm -hmm. We had DJ Holiday in the middle, all that mm -hmm. shit like that. It's almost like the, it's constantly progressing, bro. Mm -hmm. You did? No doubt. You know what I'm saying? So I'm proud, man. No I hope doubt. they fuck with it, man. I really no do. Doubt. No doubt. Get everybody your social media, man. Appreciate you pulling up on me, Hood yeah, Rich Radio, really man. Good. I know you be on that gram heavy, man. Let, let, let everybody Yeah, man. Listen, man. If y'all listening in, y'all listen to your boy, man, the Caterhead, man. Glenwood Road, 107 the Caterhead. Man, get, help me get the Instagram up, man. 
happen. I'm talking about my Twitter doing what it post. Every other social site just looking like it's it's good. Yeah. It's every time I go this motherfucker. I'm like, bro, right, I'm missing bro. something. God damn, we're man. Get, get, me, right, man. get me Instagram you know, right. Your Instagram is a struggle, man, because you gotta think. I be trying. You gotta think trying. think about what you're going up against. Okay. Just a real nigga going up against. Ass shots twerking and all that. I, I said that too. That's hard to go against. Right, you know yeah. What I'm <laughs> that ain't an easy task, you know. No, that's some G shit, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But at least you know if you got, and you got more than that, if you got a hundred followers, they real genuine right. fans. Of, you right. Know what I'm and see, that one, I'm good with that. Yeah. See, my, my thing did what I don't believe in Instagram. Like, I don't, I've watched niggas do this shit. I actually know some niggas. I ain't gonna call them out. Mm. Half of that shit ain't real. Right. Y'all paying for all that, right. that bullshit. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about that. Right. Three, four thousand motherfuckers, I know they came, they, they found right. me. Right. You did? Right. So I throw something on there, I know what they looking at. Mm. All that other shit, man, that's a ghost shit, bro. I don't fuck with it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, yeah, help me get my IG up, man. Yeah, appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Decatur Red 2D, Glenwood Road, what I'm selling. You know what it is, man. DJ Scream, Decatur Red. Coming to a hood new you soon. The Sir Rich Radio. Salute. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station.